Hey, I did not see you there. So, I might as well tell you a little more about what I did in the surgical ICU over 25 hours. This is one day after that. It's a Sunday. I just finished another short call shift on the surgical ICU, but overnight it was so busy that I did not get to tell you exactly what I did and why it was very busy. And I even have a whiteboard. Again, remember, you can do it, but I'll show you some of the procedures I did. So, uh, basically, in the surgical ICU, it becomes very busy because you have 20 patients and all those patients have very severe pathologies that require a lot of attention. Uh, you constantly have to be checking their electrolyte levels, which are, you know, sodium, chloride, potassium, phosphorus, magnesium. If those electrolytes are altered, especially potassium, they need to keep a close range on it, it can lead to cardiac arrhythmias that of course can lead to death, so you have to keep an eye on them. Also, some patients have ventilators that require monitoring, so make sure they're oxygenating well. And on the videos that you saw quickly, I said I was going to do central lines. Some people require certain medication to keep their blood pressure up because they're very hypotensive and those need to go through a central line. A central line meaning a line that goes close to the heart. Also, some people require arterial lines. Arterial lines are lines that you put in an artery so you can monitor the arterial blood pressure specifically and very tightly, okay? So in a second, I'm going to show you on the board how to draw and explaining where these lines go. That way you have an idea. Lines, you have, I'm going to try to simplify it. I wish I had different colors, but I don't at this time. Let's say this is a human head, neck, arm, body, legs. So this is your man, okay? And you have your heart here. For the intensive purposes, I'm gonna make this side be dark. This is gonna be red. So, red. And this is blue, okay? So you have These are veins, for example. Okay, these are veins. And this size may be arteries. It's for intensive purposes. It's just a simple concept. So I'm simplifying so you understand. This side is venous blood. Venous blood, that is the blood returning to the heart that usually has low oxygen concentration. Then this is the blood that is arterial, red, that gets pumped to the body to provide oxygen to the body, okay? And this is my representation of it, all right? Basically, when I said I'm going to put a central line, a central line is either gonna go here or here. Central line, okay? They can either go in the neck, your big vessels here, or they can go in your groin, in your femoral vein. So that's where central lines go. And that's a procedure that 
you use an ultrasound machine that you saw in one of my videos, you localize the area, you guide yourself with the needle and the ultrasound, and then you perforate the vein, then you put a guide wire through it so you can keep your placement inside the vessel, you remove your needle, then you dilate a little bit, so then you put another tubing and then you put the final line, which the line is just tubing. That way you have a connection from the external environment to the internal venous environment. And you can provide medications, blood products if the patient's bleeding, okay? Just so you know, when you get peripheral IVs, if you go to the normal hospital, that gets placed right here. You know, let's say this is your hand. They get placed here from like your elbow onto cubital fossa. So they, 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 this peripherals go here. And there's another type of line that we do, like a pick line. If you need antibiotics for a long time or need access, they can go here. And those are called midlines, midlines, because they're not peripheral, they're not central, they're in the middle, midlines. Now, when we're doing arterial monitoring for blood pressure, those lines usually go here in the radial artery. Radial artery, I remember this is radio because this is your walkie-talkie with an antenna, a radio, a radio, a radial artery. So that is going to go here. And now you have a constant monitoring of what the heart is doing. Sometimes, if this is unable to achieve this peripheral arterial, you might have to put a femoral arterial line. And that's pretty much some of the procedures I was doing overnight. I hope this is interest you. And I apologize for my videos overnight being kind of like, this is harder than I thought because it's tough and you're tired, you really cannot sleep. I'm sure you can go on YouTube and find all these videos that why residents don't sleep. <laughs> so I hope you found this interesting. So, all right, so again, uh, this was my 24 hour overnight shift. I have one more tomorrow, then I have three more. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you like my channel. If you do like my channel, please subscribe, turn on the bell so you can get notifications when I drop a new video. Please drop comments below, that way I know what you like to see and what you find interesting about the video or what I can change, that way you learn more from them. So share it and keep studying, keep working hard. You can achieve your dreams, which sometimes I like to even call them goals because they seem more attainable. When you have dreams, they sound dreamy. But if you have goals, you have objectives that you can achieve. And you should have short-term long, short-term goals and long-term goals. And that, my wife taught me that. And she used it in her life and now, you know, she's doing physician assistant school in California. <laughs>